kind of looks like I have a mullet today. Hey guys, so I am one, back on camera today, and two, finally doing a giveaway. I have so much stuff that I want to give away to you guys that I just really need to get on it. I have been hauling so much stuff for like planner accessories, things from the Dollar Tree. I have actually been thinking about doing a giveaway that's not necessarily related to planner stuff, but just like Dollar Tree items. I know there are a lot of people who can't get their hands on certain stuff that I haul, um, things like that. So if you're interested in just like a Dollar Tree related giveaway that are just like, you know, random items, give this video a thumbs up. Let me know how you feel about it. Also comment down below and let me know what you would like to see in a Dollar Tree giveaway. I want to do something like that too for like Target Dollar Spot. So I just have so much stuff that I want to do. And I just want to say to the people that are just now watching my channel, um, I do a lot of like crafts and DIYs. At least that's how I originally started this YouTube channel a really long time ago. I never honestly thought that I would have so many subscribers and so many views on my videos. I I don't know if a lot of YouTubers say things like that. Sometimes I do see it like on people who have like millions and they're like, oh my god, I started with nothing. Well, obviously, right? But still, I my goal isn't, it's still till this day, my goal isn't to have um, subscribers and all of this stuff. I just like sharing what I do with you guys because I've talked about this before, but when I first got on YouTube years ago, I was searching for things that I just couldn't ever find, you know, like how to do things on a budget and how to make things pretty and, you know, without having to go to big stores like Pottery Barn or, you know, places like that. So that's why I do what I do. And I'm so fortunate to have so many people be so nice to me and comment so many nice things. Anyway, the point is I just want to give back to you guys. So I have been hauling Dollar Tree gift bags for a really long time and I just have been like had this obsession about it. I absolutely love Dollar Tree gift bags. And the one, the first time that I ever realized how amazing a Dollar Tree gift bag can be is when I had a friend subscriber send me a pocket letter around Christmas time and she took my very favorite gift bag at the time which had the reindeer on it. Um, so if you watch my channel, you probably know which one I'm talking about. She took that gift bag and cut it up just right and fit the bag into the pocket letter pouches and it made the whole image again. And I was like, what? Mind blown. And then I saw Belinda Celine use a gift bag from Target to make a planner cover. And I'm like, duh. So I just feel like with you guys and my followers and subscribers and viewers, I feel like this is a great giveaway to do because a lot of you seem to really love the crafts and the pocket letters and all that stuff, which by the way, pocket letter video hopefully is going to come out maybe the same day as this video too. So just throwing that out there. I know it's been a while, but I've been coughing, so I haven't really wanted to like cough all over your pocket letters, if you know what I'm saying. Let's go ahead, take a look at all the gift bags that are going to be included in this giveaway, and then stay tuned until the end of this video to check out what the rules are to enter to win this giveaway. It does hurt. I have seen a lot of comments. Um, I think this is going to be a chatty video. I'm sorry. If you need a fast forward to the gift bag, go ahead. Um, but this is just for all of my loyal subscribers who watch every single video like religiously. Um, I have seen so many people wish me well on my wrist and I saw somebody comment, your, your wrist seems to be better. Um, it's actually not, it's probably worse. Um, I just can't really wear them for my planner videos because it like this chunky part kind of gets in the way. I mean, I can do things like vacuum and I can like do this, you know? It's other little things that you don't realize how many different ways your wrist actually moves. Like folding towels, brushing my hair is very painful. Um, I can vacuum. Vacuuming doesn't like hurt my wrist. It's when my wrist turns like this and not so much like this. 
Um, it's actually right here where the tendon is. It's like in between this part and this, there's a bone right here. And so things like lifting the laundry um, detergent, you know, things like that hurts so bad. But brushing my hair is very painful. It's probably why I have my mullet going today. But so this does help. And um, it was doing really great there for a day. And then I was like, oh, I'm healed. And then I went on and used it and then you know, you know. Okay, no one cares. Let's move on. So let's go ahead and take a look at all of these bags. I mean, yeah. I am going to include the gorgeous roses from the Dollar Tree. I mean, this would be gorgeous for a planner cover. You could frame this. If you're like wanting to start a crafty room, this would be really cute, shabby chic. I mean, if you're throwing like a tea party, like if you just want to have your own freaking tea party, I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna do a tea party by myself and I'm going to film that video for you. So if you're excited about that, give this video a thumbs up. Anyway, you could like cut these up, frame them for things like that, for like parties, you know? Or of course, you could just use it for gift bags. They're beautiful just for that as well. Then I have this gorgeous cupcake one to give away to you guys as well. The front is actually like a little pop-up. The front always has some sort of detail and the back is always plain. It's what I've noticed about Dollar Tree. But the side piping on this is to die for. You can make bookmarks out of these. You could cut these up and make them into little like paper clips for your planner. Mm -hmm. This is adorable. I'm also going to include this duo set here. It's got like a really beautiful color blocking right here. And then you've got some beautiful chevron. And it's like paper baggy. Paper baggy. Oh my God. Then I have this trio set that's kind of like in the same family. So let's take a look at them one at a time. So here is the front. It has the glittery decoration. The balloons are beautiful. I mean, that little bird is adorable. The side piping, oh my goodness. It's just too cute for words. Here is the next one. This one's really beautiful. Sometimes with certain bags that say certain things, it's hard to like make, turn it into something. But if it's your birthday week and you want this as your planner cover or if it's somebody else's birthday week you can make them a planner cover you can cut this up obviously into pocket letters but otherwise you can be maybe limited to just using this as a gift bag but this one's really beautiful i love the watercolors of the balloons it's just pretty great for dollar tree i mean they spelled everything right i'm always waiting for that i'm always waiting for something to be misspelled and be like oh that's why it's at the dollar tree but no that's Pretty good. Here is the other last one to match that collection. It's got a really beautiful birthday cake with some candles. Here's the side. I'm really sorry for the lighting. It's like cloudy and weirdly foggy bright. I don't know how to describe it. Okay, up next are gonna be this little trio set. This is one of my most recent hauls on my channel. So these are also going to be included in that giveaway as well. The back again, plain. So, but I love the foil. I think that these would be amazing to frame or to do as planner covers. I also wanted to include like some that maybe if somebody has like children or anything like that. So I wanted to include these cute little options. And this elephant is adorable. I love the colors. I love how Dollar Tree did this. So cute. And his little feet are glittery too. So this would be adorable to frame and put in your child's nursery or if you, whatever, I don't know. Here is the next one, which this one and the elephant is a favorite of mine. So the, t the lion is super adorable. He's extra glittery and he's just chilling. And then here is a cute tiger. Hope that you guys can see that without too much of a glare from the light. And then of course, some of my favorites I have to include in here is the um, 
the beach pictures. I absolutely love this so much. The one with the rocking chair is really beautiful and peaceful. Actually, this would be great in my bedroom and my bathroom because I have a nautical theme, so I could easily cut these up and frame them, and it would be so beautiful. And if somebody walked in, be like, hey, did you know that that's like Dollar Tree gift bags? What? I just had a full-blown conversation by myself. And then here is this one. I really like this one a lot too. I'm sorry for the glare because these are like really shiny. This one is super fun and I've an only I've never seen any others like this. And it's this pirate themed bag and it actually has a real compass in here. I don't know if it works. Let's see. really cute and you get the glitter in here as well and of course the back is plain I wish they would have made the gold glittery that's the one thing they didn't do here the next one is one of my favorite prints of all time from the Dollar Tree I have this in duct tape they had made this in all kinds of different items as well and I had to include this bag in here for you guys I hope that you can see that foil I think that you can this one is just foily rainbow it's really cute. Could use this for, you know, pocket letter, planner cover, any kind of theme that has like rainbows. The last two bags are my favorite of all time. It just reminds me of my childhood when I, I loved Rainbow Bright when I was a little girl. I remember having the doll and it's really difficult for me to remember a lot from my childhood. So the fact that that stands out, you know, I know that it meant a lot to me. So I obviously gravitate towards anything that looks anything like Rainbow Bright. So two of these are for me. I need to put that up. <laughs> these two are going to be in the giveaway for you guys. I'm obsessed with these two bags so much that I'm like, I don't even know that I could cut, cut it up. So which reminds me, I probably should go get some more so that I can actually do crafts with them because I kind of want to keep at least both of those intact and never use them. I don't know why I'm like that. But I'm so excited to include these in here for you. Here is the side piping on this one. It's just rainbowy hearts. And the cloud is glittery. Some of these little white hearts are glittery too, which I love that they did that. Whoever like designs these bags, like do it right. They really do. And then here is an up close picture of the little unicorn. Super adorable. I mean, look at that. I love that her wings are like a mint green. It's a really good choice of color. And then here's the side. And I love the handles as well. So you can definitely tell if you look at Dollar Tree gift bags that whoever designed it put a lot of thought into it. So they're going to be included in this giveaway. And if this turns out to be really successful, I am going to do more Dollar Tree gift bags in the future. So Okay, so here are the rules to enter into this giveaway. One, you have to be a subscriber. And the reason for that, and I mentioned that in my other giveaways, is because it wouldn't be fair to the people that always watch my videos and subscribe and they enter. So it just needs to be kind of equal in that area. Okay, so one, be a subscriber. Two, comment down below and tell me what your favorite color is. That way I know you're entering. That way I can tell the difference between um, other comments and you actually entering into the giveaway. So you have to pay very close attention to those rules and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. So be a subscriber, give this video a thumbs up and comment down below. Let me know what your favorite color is. Only one comment on your favorite color can enter you into the giveaway. So if you leave me like five comments and you say red, yellow, purple, that's not going to enter you in more than one time. So just one comment enters you into the giveaway. In the description box, so please pay attention to this as well, in the description or the subject box of this video, it's going to say open, which means that this uh, giveaway is currently open for you to enter. And then when it when the subject changes to closed, that means the video is still going to be up available for you to watch, but you'll no longer be eligible to enter into the giveaway. So I will link right here when 
this giveaway will be closed, the date and the time. And then because I don't do YouTube for a living, please give me some time to uh, put everybody's name into a hat. My daughter draws the name herself. I don't do any of that. And that gives me some time to work around our schedule and things like that. And it also depends on how many people actually enter into the giveaway because last time there were so many entries and I mean thousands. So it does take me a little bit to make sure that I'm double checking and making everything fair for everyone. There's a lot of people that sometimes can't leave a comment for some reason. Um, so a lot of people will email me and I have to include those names in there as well. So just letting you know if you're having trouble commenting, just shoot me an email and tell me what your favorite color is and what your uh, YouTube handle name is so that I can write it into the uh, drawing. So that is how you enter into the giveaway. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. Good luck.